Wow, 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 wow. I cannot believe I just did that. You'll find out why I just did in a couple minutes. What's going on, you guys? Uh, so, I saw this video from one of the people I subscribe to, Nick George, and it's called YouTube Confessionals. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to make one. I wasn't really tagged by anybody specifically. Um, I just, I'm just doing this on my own accord. And I'm gonna use my cell phone to cheat and bring up the questions. So without further ado, let's get this started. How long does it take to make a video? Typically it takes me about, I don't know, maybe like an hour, uh, 20 minutes to film, and uh, 40 minutes to edit. Of course, it could take me longer or shorter. No, it typically takes me longer than 20 minutes to film something, because I, I talk a lot. Spender or saver? Hmm. I would say that I'm a spender, but I spend when I do know that I have the money to actually buy something. Um, I don't like buy something and with, with you know the mindset of I'm not really sure if I can afford this or not, or if I have enough money left over. Uh, but I'm just gonna get it anyways. I don't I I don't do that. I try to make sure that if I'm buying something, uh, you know I, I at least like budget myself and know that I have some cash in the bank after I make that purchase. Who is your YouTube crush? I don't really have a crush on YouTube. No, I really don't. Um, I, I don't know. There's a lot of attractive people on YouTube. I would say, I would say out of the people that I've, I'm subscribed to, though, um, you know, Connor Manning. I know that he he's. I don't think he's he's not gay, but um, you know, just his videos are not only really really good and, and and insightful, but he's a pretty good looking dude. So Connor, take that as a compliment, man. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I don't know. About a half hour usually. Um, actually no, maybe a little bit longer since I started oil pulling, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's this crazy, crazy health craze where people swish oil in their mouth and it kind of gets rid of all the bacteria. Yeah, I do that. One thing you're excited about this year. Uh, well, I'm excited that I made a change in my life and moved um, for, for my job, but the other thing is that I'm really excited for this startup company that, that I, I amazingly had the opportunity to, to help bring to life with a bunch of my college buddies, I'm excited for this company to, to grow and become something amazing. Most awkward filming moment. Okay, well, most awkward filming moment for me is uh, right now, actually, about five minutes ago, when I previously recorded this with having my microphone shut off the entire time. That was awkward. Jeans, skirt, dress, pajama bottoms. Skirt. Not really. Jeans. They're See? Jeans! I jumped because I wanted to show the... I wanted the evidence to be there that I'm not lying to you guys and actually wearing jeans. What are you most proud of in your life? I think the thing that I'm most proud of is um, that I've learned to take ownership for my mistakes. Uh, you know, that, that when I do screw up, I, I say like, okay, I get it. Yes, I screwed up. I apologize for it and I'm gonna do better to, uh, to change that and, and um, learn from that mistake. Another thing that I'm proud of, though, in my life, um, is that uh, I've also learned to stand up for myself more. That if I feel that there's a wrongdoing happening to me, I, I will stand up for it instead of just shying away from it and, and just letting something go by. What makes talking in front of a camera comfortable for you? I don't really know. I guess it's just, uh, I don't know. I've always liked talking to people. I've always been comfortable around people. And I know that there's like a camera here right now, but I know eventually people are gonna see it. And uh, you could take the camera away right now and put a person right here and I'd still be as comfortable. I'd still be talking the same way that I am right now. What is your worst hair or makeup habit? Well, I don't really wear makeup. No, false, I do. Um, I, <laughs> I wear self-tanner sometimes. I'm not wearing it now, but sometimes I do wear self-tanner because I'm, I'm a little bit self-conscious about my, my Paleness. I'd also say that I I do tend to dye my hair a lot um, Since my last haircut, there's like some strains of blonde hair dye in there, but I've dyed my hair like uh, like brown Black jet black uh, and most recently blonde my natural hair color is like an auburn slash strawberry blondish um, And I've, I've kind of always you know like people have said, you know, yeah, your natural hair color is really nice And I never really liked it so I've always dyed my hair. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I do enjoy PewDiePie, I do enjoy Mr. Repsion, uh, Girlfriends TV, Connor Manning, Billy and Pat Vlog, Soundly Awake, The Shaytards, uh, Sup Daily, Miles J, Grace Helbig, Tyler Oakley, uh, Memory Heart, uh, Soul Pancake, they do some really cool stuff. Swoozy, uh, Tim Will Destroy You, Tim Helbig, V Squared, 
Angry Joe, Austin Evans, Beauty and the Geek 710, Boogie 2988, Bro Team Pill, Cheska Lee, let's see here, CTFXC, Ethan Hevercoat, Ethan, Ethan Hethcoat, and Mark Miller. They're like really hot on YouTube. Actually, I'd say that they're also another crush of mine. Mallow 610, Michael Buckley, Michael Reezy, Nick George, Ryan James Yzak, Seth Allen, Chef 689, Chef Squared, Star Wars. And I think that's all for the questions right now. Um, if you want to do this, if you want to make your own, by all means, go do it. I, I tag everyone. I tag the... Endings are always awkward for me.